because Joshua is not an elite fighter. Anybody, any fighter that gets beat by an average heavyweight like Andy Ruiz and gets knocked out by Ruiz cannot be considered elite. Those Al Heyman checks must be really good. Lennox Lewis is named Deontay Wilder, the number one heavyweight in the world. He has Fury number two and Anthony Joshua number three. And I have high respect what Lennox Lewis did in boxing and Holyfield. I just don't like how they sold out for the money. And I can understand Deontay Wilder's 43 and old with 42 knockouts, but his resume is awful. But he has a chance to make a better Saturday night if he defeats Fury. Bob Aaron is also on record criticizing Anthony Joshua, said he's not elite and he has no chin. And I've seen fighters that are chinny, Terry Norris, American. That is not Anthony Joshua. Yeah, Klitschko hit him right on the chin and he got up and he beat Klitschko. And Bob Aaron's answer to that is Klitschko was over the hill. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury ducked him on the rematch and Deontay Wilder didn't want to fight him. And next, he wanted to talk about the Andy Ruiz fight. That wasn't the chin shot. It was a temple shot. Anybody that's been cracked in the temple hard knows that those are your equilibrium. You're pretty much done after that. And another thing I noticed about that fight, Anthony Joshua kept getting up. It's funny how all these top heavyweights criticized Andy Ruiz like he's nothing, but none of these guys got in the ring with them. Deontay Water, Tyson Fury. If you want to know who the best heavyweight is, look who fought the most top 10 opponents. Look who's a unified champion. It really surprises me how Lennox Lewis and Valley Holyfield sold out for the dollar. These guys in the prime of the career pride themselves of fighting the best and turn around and support a guy like Deontay Water who only fights tomato cans. To me, it's only one way to solve it. Deontay Water, if he beats Fury Saturday night, he needs to get in the ring with Anthony Joshua. There is no question in my mind what Fury would do if he wins because he publicized it. He says you'll fight Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, and Deontay Wilder, and then he's gonna retire from boxing. Deontay Wilder had two chances to fight Anthony Joshua, and he declined. And I hear it all the time from Deontay Wilder fans. Anthony Joshua doesn't have a chin, he's scared of Deontay Wilder. Then why is Anthony Joshua always the one trying to make the fight? The baddest man should man up if he wins Saturday night and take on Joshua. So me, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield, and boxing fans around to see who really is the baddest man on the planet. My money's on AJ. And other news concerning Deontay Wilder, we had the weigh-in today. Deontay Wilder weighed 212 in the first fight. This one, he comes in 231 pounds. You can tell he put 20 pounds of muscle on. The guy's thick. Fury weighed 256 in his first fight. And now he's up to 273 in the second fight. His biceps look great, but we couldn't tell about anything else because he had a shirt on, which worries me. I hope we're not dealing with an Andy Ruiz situation here. We don't need another one of those. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.